All right. Hey guys, it has been a while. Stog here. So, since I haven't posted anything in probably like a year, uh, I've been going to art school for like two semesters now. Uh, I don't really have much of an art background beyond that. So I figured for anyone else out there that is trying to become an artist or concept artist, illustrator, whatever it is, uh, this might be a little encouraging to to see. So two semesters, uh, it's only a couple months apiece. It's not super rigorous either. I still had a life. I was still able to do stuff. I even worked through part of it. So this is just a, a digital paint that I did. This is the second one because the first one was uh, in, in class basically uh, driving, drawing this uh, model. Now we're using black and white pictures and trying to just use color from memory. She had a green light below, red light above, and the first time I painted it, it came out pretty terribly because I was thinking about her skin color with green light and that actually threw me off quite a bit. So if anyone else has problems like that, I would actually suggest just thinking about the skin color as being whatever color the light is shining. If it is an abnormal color, that is. Say the green light in this instance changed pretty much everything about how I perceived it. And I just used a little bit of red for the, the shadows. Uh, that way I would balance some of the, the cool colors with the warm color of the reds and browns. Uh, even then I, I didn't use it too heavily and I did interpret quite a bit trying to uh, portray what I was seeing and what I wanted to convey. I think it's important to remember for any artist is that you're not really trying to perfectly mimic life. You're trying to interpret in your own way and express that to others. So make sure that when you're making something, you don't lose sight of that. Uh, easier said than done, of course. But yeah, so I've been at this for about two semesters now. If anyone has any questions or uh, any critiques, I'm open for it. If you have any videos yourself that you'd like me to see, I'm open to doing that as well. And yeah, uh, I took about eight hours to do this. Um, the entire time I was recording at 60 frames per second using um, open broadcast software. I don't recommend doing that. I would recommend maybe doing one frame per second because trying to compile this down to six, seven minute video took like eight hours of the computer processing it. So. <laughs> It was just double time. Um, so yeah, if you do it, it's not very difficult. You just switch to uh, the settings, drop it down quite a bit, and it'll it'll probably work out quite well for you. Let's see. I'm currently attending Brainstorm. It's a concept art school in Burbank. They're opening a new one in Rancho Cucamonga. This is all in California, of course. And I was attending the art center's night classes um, during the summer semester. And I took two classes. One was an intro to entertainment design, which was just a kind of preparing you to get a portfolio to enter into Art Center, as well as kind of teaching you a little bit about what it was like to actually work in the entertainment design industry. Both are very good classes. Um, my teachers were amazing, and it was a, a pretty reasonable price, actually, to attend the night classes. And then I had another class there, which is uh, figure drawing, and I had been doing figure drawing in just little groups, uh, study sessions for like three or four months prior with no instruction. So believe me when I tell you just a little bit of instruction from somebody who's dedicated to actually helping you figure it out is going to do you leagues of good and it will speed up how much you progress 
because I went from just drawing kind of formless blobs to being able to I, I would say reasonably draw a person that was recognizable in just 10 weeks so if you can get around to actually having a tutor or an actual teacher somebody who can really take the time to explain the figure drawing process and give you feedback I would strongly suggest doing so especially if you want to do it as a career you kind of need that kind of hands-on feedback otherwise you could just hit a bunch of YouTube videos I, I know Proco has some really good ones and there I'm sure there are hundreds of others around just find somebody who vibes with you and follow them. Uh, of course if you just want to hang out with me that's cool uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but I'm also learning, so maybe you want to learn with me. Uh, that would be cool. Ah, okay, so here's something that um, happened. <laughs> I got really detailed with the face, and then I kind of let the details fall off everywhere else. But as you see, I didn't just let them fall off, I kind of started to sculpt and to paint and it ends up looking a little weird because I leave it half finished when I could have just let it stay loose without detailing it too hard and it would have looked fine so I, I guess what I'm saying is if you're gonna do it stay consistent either detail everything or have one focus point that's detailed and kinda let everything else be a little soft as long as your value are values like the light starks are grouped properly it'll still look good so that's that's the the good takeaway for this one it's a lot of fun but uh, say like this area you see how it's kind of hard to really get a gauge for it I would suggest strongly that you don't do what I did here and if you do it, treat it with just as much delicacy as the face, whatever you do. Uh, or let it be loose all the way through, instead of just starting sharp enough in here and then letting it go kind of weird. Anyways, yeah, uh, I hope to do more videos like this in the future. Um, let me know what you think. And if there's anything in particular you'd like to know or would like to see me try to paint, um, yeah. Have a good one.